all you brand new Vancouver Adapted Snow Sport volunteers. My name is James Peters. I am the executive director and here to give you a quick guide on how to get all signed up. Also, I might just ask right away that if you know somebody who loves to ski and snowboard and you think they'd be great at helping us as well, please reach out to them, send them an email, text, phone, and tell them about VAS uh, and that they can get all the information here as well. This is our website, vast.ca. If you've not been here, great place to get all the things you need to know. And you even have your own tab as a volunteer. You drop down here, there's tons of reference for you. This first tab will just show you a little bit about what the volunteering experience will be. And then we get into the registration process. And this is great. There is so much detail here. You just go down to new volunteer. You can watch a little video, learn a little bit about what it's like. It'll teach you everything. Right down at the bottom uh, will actually be this video and all the steps you need to do to get sorted. But you're gonna learn that all in this video too. Like me, I suspect you uh, like watching videos to learn stuff, so let's get that done. Before I leave this area though, I'm also gonna point out under this volunteer tab, there's something called Safe Sport, and that is a training that everybody in our organization is required to do. It takes about 90 minutes. If you click on there, it'll tell you exactly what to do. It's all online training. Um, to make sure that we have the safest environment for all of our participants, not just the students, but also uh, other instructors and just the way that we are in the mountains. So make sure that gets done. Um, it will be required in your sign up that you're going to see in a couple minutes. The other thing I'm going to point out right now is reference checks. I'm not going to get into it. I'll show it to you really quickly, but I'll talk about it in a little while. This is just uh, reference checks that you'll need to get done. You can read through the directions, but really like from this point down, you can just cut and paste this, uh, obviously put your name where it says your name and send it to uh, a couple of people that can give you our health checks. But let's go and talk about with that more later. Um, what you're really going to need to do to get everything sorted out is on any one of the pages, you'll see the menus at the top. You're going to go to this thing called Snowline. And Snowline is our registration system. Um, when you get here, it's just going to look like this, nothing exciting. You're going to create your own, uh, well, Sorry, you'll probably be brand new. Um, you're going to just say, need a new account. Pop down here. Whoops. And it's going to ask you to put in your details. So I'm going to call myself, uh, let's see, what, tester uh, 213. And my first name will be James, just because that makes it easy. And I'm going to use an email, and it's going to get upset with me because I'm sure I've created lots of profiles under this, but info at VAS. Uh, that's how you can get a hold of us too if you don't know. Info at vast.ca um, is our general mailbox. I'm going to sit next. It's going to say, oh my gosh, you've used this. It's okay. I'm going to say create a new account. Probably for you this won't happen because obviously you haven't been here. Now you can create your own ID. Um, emails are usually pretty easy. Uh, you could also use uh, your like first initial and then your last name. So we'll call this, uh, oops. Esther, T, Esther, T13. And then it's going to ask you to make a password. So like lots of places, you got to follow all the rules. So I will enter in something. I will keep it a secret, of course, because, you know, it's a secure password. And great. And now it says, what do you want to join as? So if you're going to be a volunteer with us, um, and you're going to be on the snow, you're going to be classified as an instructor, whether you get training or not, whether you think you can lead a lesson or not, that is what your classified is. So hit instructor, boom. Now it's going to say what program you want to be with. Well, we are vast. We're right at the top. It's nice. Um, if that isn't there, then you could also go down to the BC Adaptive Snow Sports and click that and you would find uh, vast there as well. But this makes it easy. Yep. I want to join vast and boom, you're in. So the goal here now is to complete all of these tabs, just by clicking on them, they're going to ask you lots of different things. And we just work through the whole system. When you have something 100% filled in, it will no longer be red or yellow. It will actually turn green, which is great. So as much detail as you can put in, great. Your personal information. This is going to ask you some questions about your life and teaching experience. This is going to tell you about any certifications you have. Remember I mentioned that safe sport thing? That safe sport thing uh, is run by the NCCP, and once you've completed that, uh, and once you sign in, you'll actually have a, a registration number, and you'll be able to uh, confirm that you've completed that. So you'll put in that number and confirm that, and that will take care of that piece of the registration. Doesn't need to be done like right this second, but like set a goal to have it done by the end of the week so that you don't have to think about it anymore, uh, and it doesn't just build up. Um, then we go into criminal record check. 
So a criminal record check has to be done by everybody. Um, you can either uh, go here and there is a download uh, that will, oh, you know what? I will take a look at that right now and fix it. But when you click there, you should be able to go uh, right to a download that you tell you all the directions and everything. Um, next, you're going to go to waivers. Do read these. I know they're a little bit wordy, but take the time to read them and then you'll have to sign them off by putting your first and last name. And it actually looks for it. Like if I, there we go. And then you'll complete those all. They will all go green as well. And that's when you know this will all go green. Membership, everybody that works with us has to be a member of CAS, the Canadian Adaptive Snow Sports Organization. It's our national organization. Um, and then we also have a uh, sub-provincial organization. So those two things together end up costing 50 bucks uh, and it gets you all sorts of great benefits for the year. Um, you can look on uh, the CADS website to see what those types of things are. Once that's done, uh, this is that reference thing. So you're going to put in two references, the person's name, um, their phone number, and the relationship to you. And then you'll go back to our website and go back to here and follow the rest of these directions. So this reference, and it'll ask you to then call those people and send them an email, just like we highlighted earlier. Great, that is done. Um, we'll accept you before you do these references, but again, pl please do them like this week as fast as you can so that they're done. Um, and then uh, if there is any challenges or anything, then we'll reach out to you. But uh, I suspect you're awesome and that's why you're here. So, all right, this is the fun part. A couple of them. You have to choose a program in your first year uh, that you're going to participate with. So take a look. All If you don't know anything about any of our programs, you can hit this little read more and it'll give you a description of what this is and how it works. Um, but pick one of these six-week programs and that way you can really get involved in what's going on. And we'll make sure that you get paired with another instructor so that you're not just doing this by yourself. And uh, you're going to learn so much. It's going to be amazing and you're going to help change someone's life. So take a look at that. Pick what works for you. Um, the Blue Streaks program, just so you know, is our race program. Uh, you probably need to be a pretty advanced skier or ex-racer to, to come in and hang out with that group. Um, other than that, though, uh, you will see there's going to be opportunity for training and stuff. You'll be great. My suggestion is you pick one. If you pick like a whole bunch saying I could do all of these, then we will think that you're going to come and do all of them and it gets confusing. There's even a note at the top, just pick one. So pick the one that best suits you. If you really want to do two and you really have the time for it, go for it. We are not going to say no to that. Uh, availability. So after you've made those selections in your program, you're just going to confirm that you are available on those nights. So if you chose a Tuesday night program, then you're going to go to the Tuesday night block and you're going to make it go green. If I hit it again, it goes yellow. Hit it again, it goes red. Make it green, showing the availability for the programs you've actually selected. If you do have any blackout dates, these would be dates when you know you're not going to be around, maybe work or something has come up. Um, our real hope is that you will be there for all of the weeks uh, that you've committed to, all six weeks for our pro regular uh, scheduled programming. Um, but obviously things do come up. If you can't make like, you know, two or three of those six um, give me a call and we'll talk about it, but it might not be the right year for you to start being a full-time volunteer. Um, we may have other rules for you where you can just come up and, and support uh, on given nights. So that'll take care of that. Um, then we go to training. All of our new volunteers, uh, we really encourage that you get your CAD certification. There's CAD ski, there's CAD snowboard. They are different um, depending on, on which you're going to do. Um, just do one this year, even if you do both disciplines. Uh, don't do two. It gets too confusing in your brain, and uh, we're also trying to get as many people on the hill as we can. Um, but if you do want to do a two at some point, there is an opportunity to go back and, and do the other. All the directions are here, so you can read them, but I will tell you, here are the things you need to do. You, uh, If you are not already a ski or snowboard instructor, if you do not have your CSI or CASI, then you need to come and do uh, two parts of an overview. One, which will be a Zoom session. So for skiers, it's called the CSIA Skier Z Zoom Overview. And for snowboards, it's called the CASI Snowboard Overview Zoom. Um, those are mandatory and they are recorded. So don't freak out if you can't make the night. Still click that you want to take it because that way we know that it's been satisfied. Um, and then we'll send out uh, those links to everybody so they can watch it. Ends up being about 90 minutes. Gives you a good overview of uh, how to teach the sport. Then you will need to come also to an on-hill overview which is where you get to come and ski or snowboard. And we will take a look at your skiing and snowboarding, uh, help improve a little bit if we can, and look at what the basic progressions are. 
That's step one. Step two, you got to pick a CADS course. This is that three-day awesome uh, come and learn everything there is about adaptive uh, skiing and snowboarding. So we are offering uh, three dates for skiers this year and two dates for snowboarders. So select one of those. They do go very fast. If for some reason they are full or the one that you want is really full and you can't make the other dates, then go down to the wait list, put your name on the wait list, and that lets me know exactly what the need is. Um, and we will either try and get another uh, whole opportunity for another eight people to come out on a certain date, or if there's any cancellations, then we will just uh, email out that whole list and say, hey, psh, there's a shot, who wants it? That is the stuff for training. There's a few other training stuff on here that's for returning volunteers. You don't have to worry about that. Um, there is one here for the VAS AGM, though. If you'd like to uh, attend the AGM, which is just a Zoom session on November 8th, um, give you an idea about the business of VAS, uh, you are absolutely welcome to do that, providing that you're over the age of 16. Cool, that is our training. Um, extras has absolutely nothing in it, which is wonderful. And then there's going to be your cart, uh, where at the moment mine says that um, I owe 50 bucks for the CADS membership. If I put the training, the training's 50 bucks as well, so you'd probably be in for 100 bucks. Um, did I tell you too that we're going to give you a ski pass for grouse so that you can come up and do all this training and not have to go get tickets all the time? So that'll be included for you. And then if you're one of the other mountains, uh, we'll get passes and things uh, for you there. So lots of benefits. Um, super excited that you want to come and do and hang out with this. I think that's almost everything. Um, this last one, the setting is if you need to change your password or anything, you can go in here um, and do all that. That's it, I think. My name is James Peters. Uh, again, if you have any questions, email me at info at or give me a shout on the phone, 604-646-8277. And we will see you on the hill so very soon. Signing out.